check it out. He gets Ferro's boot. You think he was going to do uh, some punishment, but no. I'm learning the rest of that foul oh. in quotation marks and and gets him hit. Out of, out of thousands, so like you said, uh, heavy metal always the innovator, right? Okay. Well, but that just makes him get the first ball. The second ball is on the way, and, and I don't think Federer will take it kindly the, the way they lost the first no. ball. So this is going to be interesting. Kind of fun to see dish out now after that. Here we go. The action is starting again, and uh, Mr. Aguila against heavy metal, throws him against uh, the turnbuckle, and uh, Mr. Aguila manages to, to get out of the way, but he, he really doesn't attack the reverse. Because, wow, oh, oh. Terrible now has something to say about it. Yeah. Shoots him. And Land makes him land hard on his back. You can hear, you can hear them screaming oh. and cursing. It. You know, oh! Headbutt! Vicious headbutt! It's crazy! Having a temper tantrum! I love it when the Perro does that. I love it. These tantrums are incredible. Yeah, this guy needs some, some kind of therapy. Well, they don't like call him the perro for nothing. And uh, Mr. Aguila fails to connect with those kicks. And now, heavy metal. Just taking over. And, oh, well, that was a close fist. <laughs> and now he's uh, doing his own tantrum, hitting perro with all he's got. And he plays. Covering his, his uh, I wouldn't go so far as calling his boss, but his uh his leader. Terrible. Okay. <laughs> and Perro just just calling his dogs, you know, barking at the moon. <laughs> Hard to say. I don't know. I'm going with Marco Polino. <laughs> Out of those uh, options, I'll go with C, none of the above. Uh but don't tell Shakra I said. And Mr. Aguila uh, against uh, Marco Corleone. A and check it out, Mr. Aguila is going to show his own. Aguila. Let's see what you got. He's going to prove. Hey, oh. hey, hey, come on now. <laughs> El Terrible. Hey, come on, so ladies, we're just getting into that Terrible. Yeah, but Terrible wants to make sure that no one in the ring is better looking than he is. There's Marco Corleone to the corner. Are you going to follow it up? But no. Marco reverses and uh, manages to, to counter all of it and now jumps him up. Wow. Slaps really hard. Uh, and he now takes those chops like, like look, like swatting flies. Whoa. And makes terrible pay for his mistake. <laughs> and now Perro's trying to get away from it. But he no. wants nothing to do with that. But no, no, Marco's not landing him. Jumps him. Incredible vertical leap by Marco. And now he's gonna rock him like a baby. Spins him a little bit and <laughs> slams him into a nice backbreaker. Marco Corleone just took care of business. That's the way he gets things on. A couple of fans in the Perfect Mal not disagree. too happy with Marco. They they are they disagree. And here's Shocker. Shocker against Mr. Aguilar. But first he wants to a little bit of Perro as well. I, I like it when, when the match uh, develops like this. You, know, you just don't know where to look. Everyone hates everyone right now, so it's just a lot of fun to watch. And I'm surprised that Perro Aguayo has to the And I'm surprised that Perro Aguayo hasn't uh, gone to Kemonito uh, so far. Yeah, okay. Which is quite a surprise. Here's a lucky fan wearing a, wearing a multi dragon mask. Lots of fans with the Perro del Mal shirt. And uh, now it's all three, while we were talking, all three Perros were beating Shocker to a pulp. And now, vicious laugh, but Shocker! Oh, look at that energy, he comes back at that He point. comes back, but uh, it's, it's three say, against one. Yeah, I mean, Listen to the crowd, listen to the crowd. They're chanting Shocker's name. And Shocker loves it when that happens. Even then. I mean the chants, not not not, not all those hits. Oh, but nice kick right in the face for a while. Shocker has been trying to hold his own against all three, but it's it's really hard. There we go. He, he managed to kick 
kick, terrible. And now Marco Corleone is helping his friend. Backbreaker from Fragula. And Shocker. He's going to use the ropes and lands on Ferro. Oh, no. I don't know. Out of the way. See that? I don't think that's the way he planted. Oh. And now Heavy Metal. Heavy Metal. He's uh, about to uh, perform. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, but no, Ferro Aguayo. Hey, makes hey. It. you got the rope there. Why, why is he counting? Why? This nah. is absurd. It's absurd. There was like a ton of ropes between of them, between the two of them. And it's better even managed to hit Marco Corleone even more. This is absurd. Well, it's not that absurd when you put it the way that they did the first ball. Oh, I don't know. Who knows what will happen in the first ball? How will it end? <laughs> How will it end? You know? After all the tricks that everyone has been throwing out, I don't know, how will this end? Let me tell you, I, I don't think this will end via uh, uh, conventional... Hey! Uh, no, uh -oh. they're using Camanita as a weapon! Hey! Like I said, this is not going to end uh, you in knew a that conventional was coming, recount. Right? Well, that's great. You knew that uh, Camanita was uh, yeah. going to be punished. No, this is oh, not fair. Oh, poor Camanita. That, that's just fine. Leave him alone, oh, perro. Uh, uh, and by the way, never did anything wrong. And that's not a mask he's wearing. That's that's real fur. So, so uh, yeah, it's kind of you know skin right off. He's, he's trying skin to skin right him in alive. Right. Mr. Aguila. Wow, impressive <laughs> leg impressive drop. Impressive leg right drop. Across. Two, three, a three count. They 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 they, they got a three count. They got Shucker's out. Shucker's out. It's all over. It's all over. I can't believe it. How, how did that happen, Dark Angel? <laughs> when did that happen? Oh, well, all I know is how we were spent. Look here, the uh, upper side, all of a sudden. And, and suddenly... Hey, Monique, there's a little ring, getting him alive. Check it out, they're, they're, they're trying to repair him. Yeah. He's, he's sent out for repairs, but... but <laughs> third fall. And, and now the third fall is finally underway. The third... This this is this is gonna be this is gonna be huge. I mean, two falls have gone by with, with uh, all the tricks that uh, both teams have played. Perrito uh, spitting the crowd. I don't uh, have a to say that. Uh, Marco Corleone. And uh, that's how it starts. Chops, lots of chops by all three of them and uh, oh. but he manages to carry <laughs> Perro and, and, and Mr. Aguila and Terrible are trying to take care of his leader once again but yeah, now no with that. that's what you get that's what you get when you, when you mess with this ruler <laughs> yeah well he's a spoiled brand and uh <laughs> well, have you ever, uh, you know how his dad treats him? I mean, he, his dad treats him like he's still a real kid. And he oh, oh, gets oh, out of the way. He's going to get the wrong leader. Big clothesline by Marco Corleone. Clothesline, both of them. And yeah. now he's going, you know what that means. Yeah, everybody in the front of him. They what? try to hit him twice, but no, <laughs> fails to connect. He fails to connect. Oh, wow, what a distance. Well, Marco can jump. We've seen him done that before. Uh, now, Perro against Heavy Metal. They're, they're just taking care of everyone now. You know? Oh! Makes, they make Marco uh, <laughs> receive his own partner. And now, once again, Shocker against all three of them. Not good news for Shocker. Taking off some, uh, some boots to the chest slams good power bomb and the trademark estaca and one more three of them the estaca zacatecana that's 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 it that's it hey hey, hey you're ripping his pants off they, they, what, what what's going on they're, they're ripping his oh that they can't do that and, and, and those those are brand new they're, they're, they're brand new